Let's talk about my favorite tip and trick. This is the self-destruct mode, as I call it. Hi everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks for the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G. If you're interested in this phone or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. I also have a full review up on the channel. Be sure to check that out. This video was made possible because of our friends over at Visible. Visible by Verizon is a simpler way to do wireless for $30 a month. Yes, that includes taxes and fees. You can get unlimited talk, text, and data nationwide in the US on Verizon's 5G and 4G LTE network. Let's not forget about our unlimited hotspot at five megabits per second built in spam protection and unlimited talk and text to our friends in Canada and Mexico. For $45 a month, you can choose the Visible Plus plan that features everything we just mentioned and more. Wow. You get 5G ultra wideband, premium network experience at 50 gigabytes, and additional international benefits and a $10 a month savings on Verizon home internet. See our affiliate link in the video description for additional information. This is the self-destruct mode as I call it. This is a secure locking feature for your device. Always nice to have for your safety and protection. So go to your settings gear. You're gonna search secure lock and the first option for our lock screen, secure lock settings, you're gonna select that. It's gonna take you right there. It's the third option down. Enter your pin and you'll be brought into these settings. And the one I wanna talk about today is the auto factory reset. After 15 incorrect attempts to unlock your phone, it will reset to factory default settings and all data will be erased, including files and downloaded apps. Next up, if you're looking to declutter your phone, you can actually hide apps. You're not gonna uninstall or remove the app. You're just gonna hide it on your device. How we do that is just like everything else, settings gear icon and search hide or hide apps. And it's gonna be the home screen option. So we can hide apps right there. We're gonna select that. We're gonna go a couple options down, hide apps. And now pick and choose the apps that you want to hide. We're gonna select done. And now let's go back and we'll take a look. Can we find the apps anywhere? I know where they are. They're in this folder right here. And sure enough, they're hidden. You'll love this next tip for any sort of gaming or streaming content if you want it in full screen and want to reposition the camera cutout. So swipe down, hit the settings gear icon, go ahead, search full screen. And the first option that'll show up is display. So choose full screen apps. You'll notice here that we have to select on it and we have our full screen or app default and we can force apps to run in full screen even if they're not optimized for long displays. So that's the first option, but you'll notice at the bottom we got aspect ratio. We also have camera cutout. So you can hide the camera cutout area by covering it with a black bar if you prefer or if you want to expand the screen and have that little notch up at the top, the little hole punch, you have that option right here. So choose, depending on the app, what you prefer. Maybe for some apps you want the black bar, for other apps you want the hole. It's up to you to pick and choose. So app default, or you can show camera cutout or hide camera cutout right there from within your phone settings.